Hi guys, so third and final part, third and final episode. Please go watch episode one, then episode two, and episode three to make sense of it. I'm now gonna wrap this up. So acceptance, acceptance, and this is what it's about. This is about bringing back in the color of life, intimacy, a healthy attitudes to sex, a healthy, which so many still struggle with. So many struggle with looking at the bits or talking about certain things. So many people struggle with opening their heart. This is about the resurrection. This is about the resurrection. It's about taking ourselves out of purgatory. It's about looking to the past. It's about looking to the past and learning from the past. So let's wrap up this. I want to say thank you to Peter for stepping forward. Thank you to those others that have stepped forward. Um, thank you for the teaching that's been brought through. Um, I, for one, have really enjoyed this session, these sessions, to be quite honest. It's, it's answered a few questions for me. Um, a little bit more about me. I actually have a past life in relation to this, which I'll put the video below. Okay, so if you want to watch that, there's this whole body of work, which is probably why it needed to go out on the weekend. So we've got episode one, episode two, episode three. This vi these videos are not about judging him, the police, anybody, the victims, anything. This video is about healing. Um, he wants to say something before he goes, before they, before he goes to the other side and we will close down, okay? He's saying that this has actually helped get a lot off his chest. He said the stuff he's not actually said with his mouth, but he's felt leave energetically. He feels freer now to be able to go forward with his soul journey, okay? I feel calmer. I feel more balanced. I promise you all, I have learned. I promise you all, I am trying my best at the other side to heal those demons within me. I promise you all that in my further incarnations, I will not bring that darkness to this earth again. I promise you all, I have learned. I promise you all that great beauty still comes from this. It wasn't all dark, it wasn't all gloom and doom. Many people went on to do amazing things to help others. Many people within the police went on to have amazing careers, careers of integrity. To the officers that struggled, I am sorry. To the officers that I killed, and what it means by that is, with the stress of things, I am sorry. To the families, I am sorry. To you all, I am sorry. Sorry seems a weak word after wielding what I wielded in my lifetime, but I cannot say anything else. I cannot go back to redo it. I cannot change what's gone. But what I can do is, I can say I'm sorry. I have learned. I wish that I could be better, and I am better now. Which is why I've been allowed to step forward. He's actually showing me some of the work he's doing behind the scenes in police stations, right? Where he's actually helping officers that are on similar cases do. This is something against all contract and karmic payback where he's actually working, not possessing officers, he's guiding. You know when I channeled Reggie Cray and Reggie Cray said something similar that a lot of the old gangsters are reincarnating as modern day police officers and a lot of the old gangsters are helping modern day police officers going to these areas where there's gun crime, sword crime, drug crime and helping them do it because that is a part of the great awakening you know you know what do you this is a part of the great awakening people that you you know you've got to have conversations about people that are committing crime 
and he's doing the same with women that are going through. He's not with the women, he's with the officers, okay? And a lot of the women that were killed are working diligently with other women on the earth plane and in the realms, in the, astro in, in the heavenly realm, wherever, whatever it is for you, be it above the universe, cosmos, heaven. Thank you for listening. Thank you for not judging. And the two officers that brought him in are actually saying it's time. And I think these are two officers that have passed. They're, they're not, there's detect two detectives here, but there's also officers. And I think it's something with them. They've been released from something. Because what I'm seeing now is, they, when I told you in video one, was it? Video two, episode two, where they came in and he was in his in his prison stuff and they had chains around his, and they were chained to each other with round the feet and everything on their hands. They're turning round now and actually it's flowers that are growing between the feet. So if you imagine chains between, I've seen, I've seen clients coming in, not, not here when I was a dental nurse, like prisoners that had come in, that their feet had been changed. Well, it's like the, the flowers, the flowers. And Archangel Michael is now stepping forward and he's actually snipping through the chains, the chain of flowers. And he's actually saying that is done now. And his Archangel Metatron, that is now complete. That is done. Let that go. And it's almost like he does and the two officers that are with him go. And that's what I'm seeing, like a big gasp of breath as a, like a, decom like a decompression. So this is why I sit down and do these videos. Because if that's all we get from this video, that two people attached to him, are able to heal that, that heavy burden of being a Bobby back in the 80s and 70s dealing with him, then that's worth it. Okay, so that's why we do these videos on here. Okay. Um, and they're now going over. And I'm actually seeing them before Peter and as they were laughing, they're joking that the, a weight has been lifted. And I'm being told this isn't just about these two police officers. This is for every police officer around at the time of this man. So this is a download that is coming through for every police officer at the time of these crimes. So if you're watching it, you're a past police officer, feet on the ground, settle your breath and ask to receive this download. Open your heart and imagine the white light coming in. And as the white light comes in, imagine taking all that debris, that old energetic debris out of you. And I want you to visualize it going into a fire and the fire transmutes it, heals it. And then it turns into a beautiful garden and the beautiful garden grows within you and out from you. This is for also for anyone that was around that time. So if, it's, if any family members are watching this, okay? So the two police officers have gone. The detectives that are there, they've nodded, they've shook hands. They're very patriarchal. <laughs> and they've gone. Now Peter just nodded. And he feels lighter as well. He feels lighter and he is now going. Okay, so they're going over. Gone. Okay. Finished. Thank you for watching. As I've said, this is over three episodes. So that's why I thought I'd do it. You know, like you're on Netflix where you go from see, you know, episode one, episode two. So, because if I, oh, I was going to try and knit it all together and I thought that may be too much for people. You'd be like, oh, Claire. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Um, let's clear some of that energy with some Aqua de Florida. I'm glad I've done that actually. Let's release that, okay? Let's release that. Bring in some calm wisdom for me and those watching, just to cleanse the crown chakra because obviously the crimes that he did involved the crown chakra. A lot of you that are empathic or sensitive or can feel into energy, maybe having a few headaches or just, as you know, as, as light workers, healers, whatever you want to, whatever you call yourself, when there's something goes on collectively, we can take a little bit of that on. And it's the same with these videos, well, not just me, with anybody. Um, it's because if 
it's almost like we've got to all carry the bit of the load because it'd be too much if it was just down to one person to carry. So clarity and vision, this is for our third eye, so clearing the third eye as well. Because if you're like me when I watch videos, sometimes you guys can see stuff as well and feel stuff in the cards and that I'm not getting at the time for whatever reason. Have some water, ground. I'm going to end with a card for us. Feel free to share this, but make sure that it's when you're sharing it with light so it reaches the right person or the right people, okay? Because actually, I would like it to reach the right people. I would like it to reach... You know, if there's somebody out there whose grandma was killed by a boat, anyone that could come to this video with an open, balanced mind and get some healing from this, I would love that, okay? So if you could do that for me and share these videos around as an episode, episode one, episode two, episode three... Then we have the card we ended with Peter. Oh, God. 11, 11. Acceptance. Accepting who we are. And, and you know, this week, the, some of the comments I've had that have been quite negative have all been from women. Have all been from women. There's been about 10 of them that have come in and they've all been from women. And you know what, as women, we need to be better with each other. We need to be better with each other. Because a reason, another reason why a lot of the, the victims, and the victims I'm talking about here now, are probably the ones that were prostitutes, that were single mothers, that were struggling with, 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 with poverty, etc. Because a lot of them were. Because they were on their own. Because... Mothers that could have helped them didn't help them because of judgment. And I'm not judging this, but because neighbours judged her because look what she's doing. Every you know, women need to come together for each other and and being shown the the, the, the you know the the, the the tribal women that the circles that women used to have where they you know when a woman gave birth and the whole village stepped forward for her. She was surrounded by women and older women, wiser women grandmothers great grandmothers even if her own relatives weren't there the other wise women of the village stepped forward and helped her you know i'm helping her she's a prostitute i'm not helping her she's a single parent i'll help her because she, she's a working woman and her husband was rich so i'll help her no 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 we should be helping each other you know when i had that moment yesterday there were so many of you were so kind and so many well 10 actually let's not overestimate it came in and were just like wow wow thanks for that and it's like these people are out there in the physical life treating other women like this. And we need to be better. And maybe until we start being better, we'll start getting more, we'll, we'll keep getting the Peters of the world. Co-creation. Oh God, saint and sinner. We're both. We're both. We're both the saint and we're both the sinner. We're sinner, we've got it in us. Making peace with that. God, do I know why you chose this deck? Do you know when you chose this deck? Actually, you should paint. That's a bit feminine for you. I thought it'd go for quite a masculine deck. And I've got quite, I've got perhaps 50 decks made, probably plus more. So he, he, he had a full choice of decks he could have gone for. And I've got quite masculine decks. And it just blows me away. But look at this as well. War and Peace. War and peace. Judgment. I'm glad I've done this today, actually. So, illumination. We need to be better. We need to be better. You know, next week I'll be doing a video about Meghan Markle. And most of the comments that come through are toxic will be from women. And it's tragic, it's sad, it's, it's, we need to be better. Even if we see a woman in our midst that is having an angry moment, even if we see a woman in our midst that does show personality disorder defects or whatever, or narcissism, we should be better. We should be better. We should be kinder. I've got so much downloads from this, it's unbelievable. I'm so glad I did this. I'm sorry I'm still waffling, but I think we need this decompression. 
It's interesting because I bought this book. I, I, I've read books on him before. And I wanted to read this before. And I know now I've got to read it afterwards. I've got to read it after. Because this morning I was like, no guide. So I want to read this book. I've got it planned in my head when I'm doing it with my diary and everything. I think I need to read this after it. Because I need to read it through the eyes that I'm seeing him now. Rather than the eyes that I would have been seeing him before. And seeing the soul contracts and seeing everything. Um, I'll go through some of the pictures with you. That's one of the detectives that came forward. And that one there. Can you see them? They actually come through a lot when he's around. Assistant Chief Constable George Oldfield. That's the name. And Detective Superintendent Jim Hobson, head of West Yorkshire CID. So, yeah. So you were talking to him as well. And you were talking, where is he going? Are you talking to him? And these are some of the women. Right, let's close it down. Thank you for watching. Um, thank you for your kindness, your compassion. Thank you for your positive comments. Keep the comments. We'd love. Do you know? I don't need to say it because the, you do. It's just now and again we get. We we know we know we, we know about that, don't we? Enjoy your weekend. Take your time watching these. Make sure you're balanced. Make sure if you've come in and please do because when I do some work like this and people just watch a bit of it and it's like that they don't understand that I do it in episodes. So there'll be episode one, episode two, episode three. Thank you for watching. Love to all and have a fantastic weekend. Let me know in the comments what you feel and we'll be back next week. Thanks for watching. Please do like, comment and subscribe. Also as well, if you enjoyed that channel and, I, and you're new to my channel, I've got a playlist with lots of... I can't remember my words out. I've <sighs> got some tech tight here as well. <sighs> I've got... I've got a playlist on this channel with lots of channelings in. All kinds of people from all walks of life. Thanks for watching. Love to all and you're a great bunch. Bye.